There was a time when adventure games were some of the most dominant and popular games in the industry. And though there was a period where they'd start fading into the background, over the last decade, thanks to the efforts of developers like Telltale and Quantic Dream and Don't Nod, they've become quite popular once more. Clearly, this is a genre that's been important to the industry over the years, but that also means it's delivered more than a few games that may have flown under your radar. In this feature, we'll talk about 14 underrated adventure games that you should play but very well may not have. So without further ado, let's get started. Discworld Coming out at a time when LucasArts had an indomitable hold over the point-and-click genre, Discworld, based on the popular novel series, was a game that presented its developers as worthy contenders to the genre's thrones. Upon launch, the game received praise from most who played it, with critics highlighting the game's beautiful world, captivating story, and strong sense of humor. And sure enough, the game was appropriately successful at the time. As time has passed though, Discworld has receded into the murky pages of history, and there are many who haven't experienced it. Make no mistake though, if you're a fan of adventure games, you owe it to yourself to play this one. Lost Horizon A classic, pulpy, historical point-and-click journey that wears its Indiana Jones inspiration on the sleeve. Animation Art's 2010 title Lost Horizon never quite got the attention it deserves. Solid pacing, clever puzzles, and an engaging story came together in a solid package in this one. But though some point-and-click aficionados have played it, many have outright skipped this one. So do yourself a favor and correct that mistake. The Whispering World With The Whispering World, you very much have to take the good with the bad. But if you have enough of a tolerance for the latter, you'll be taken aback by the quality of the former. Sure, the game has issues with its voice acting, its puzzle design is inconsistent, and the script can alternate between being excessively wordy and tightly written, but there's plenty else on offer that makes up for those flaws most of the time. The Whispering World looks beautiful, has a striking visual aesthetic, and has a truly memorable and emotional story that has a great payoff. Not the perfect game by any means, but definitely worth checking out nonetheless. Freddy Farkas, Frontier Pharmacist Thankfully, Freddy Farkas isn't nearly as overlooked by wider audiences as many other games in this list are, and when it released, it actually saw quite a bit of success. But as those who have played it would tell you, its success didn't come close to reflecting just how good it was. Devilishly funny on an almost constant basis, and with a truly excellent narrative, Freddy Farkas is probably one of the best adventure games ever made. Enthusiasts of the genre have by and large played this gem, but even those with a passing interest in it, or in games with Wild West settings, need to check this one out. Grey Matter 2010's Grey Matter had quite a bit to live up to, and though the game didn't come close to reaching the heights of those games, it was still, by and large, a solid adventure title. Thanks mostly to its tightly designed puzzles and typically solid writing, Grey Matter was a game that successfully overcame its flaws on a whole. Toonstruck Toonstruck made use of FMV, but in a very different way. The main character was rendered in real-time FMV, but everything else in the game, from the vivid and colorful world to the charming characters, looked like it was straight out of a beautiful hand-drawn cartoon. Yes, the game had issues, especially with its often obtuse puzzles and hit-and-miss humor, but its whimsical premise and charming aesthetic made it well worth a play. Toonstruck was deemed a commercial flop when it released, with not many people ever actually getting around to play it, but fans of the adventure genre should take note of this one, and give it a go if they haven't already. Zack McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders A graphic adventure title made by Lucasfilm Games during the late 90s, also known as a recipe for success. Most of the time at any rate, because Zack McCracken wasn't nearly as successful or renowned as most of the company's biggest hits. That makes sense since this wasn't necessarily a flawless one, but there was quite a lot to love here. The narrative premise, the well-realized characters, the solid and mostly consistently funny humor. No, this was no Sam and Max or Monkey Island or Grim Fandango, but it still ranks as one of the better Lucasfilm games out there. The Legend of Kyrandia, Book 1, Fables and Fiends Westwood Studios made an unforgettable mark on the industry and the strategy genre with Command and Conquer but they had other claims to fame as well, such as the Legend of Kyrandia trilogy of point-and-click games. And while any one of those three games could have made it onto this list, Fables and Fiends holds a special place in the hearts of many. It had truly beautiful visuals, a rich setting, and a story that always did more than enough to keep players engaged. 
It spawned two sequels, so it was by no means unsuccessful, but it didn't get nearly as much attention as it deserved. Dune Based on the massively popular sci-fi epic novel of the same name, Dune is a much, much better known quantity in the games industry and adventure genre than probably almost all games on this list, but it feels like the passage of time has fogged people's memories, because Dune was a truly standout game that needs to be played by more people. On top of portraying the book's ambitious plot quite effectively, it also blended the strategy, dungeon crawling, and adventure genres into what was a well-designed and genuinely captivating experience. A re-release would do this game huge favors, because more people need to play it. Dreamfall The Longest Journey Coming out nearly a decade after its well-loved predecessor, Dreamfall The Longest Journey had lofty expectations to live up to, and it's fair to say that it did that quite effectively. Though it stumbled in a few areas, specifically the clunky stealth and combat, its good definitely outweighed the bad, with a fascinating setting, great character, solid writing, and a riveting narrative. Hotel Dusk Room 215 The DS was a great platform for fans of adventure games, but an unfortunate byproduct of that solid lineup of games was that some really good ones got lost in the crowd. One such title was Hotel Dusk Room 215, by no means an unknown quantity, but definitely one that deserved more attention than it got. Thanks to great puzzles, excellent writing, and a plot that never stopped trying to surprise players, Hotel Dusk was a game that kept you on your toes almost constantly. Last Window, The Secret of Cape West like its predecessor, the aforementioned Hotel Dusk, Last Window The Secret of Cape West was yet another smart, tightly designed adventure game on the DS that doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Its story is as riveting as its predecessors, the quality of writing once again shines through constantly, characters never stop surprising you, and many of the puzzles are genuinely great mind teasers. Another Code, Two Memories Yet another example of how good adventure games could be on the DS, though definitely not as well known or as excellent as some of the other games in the handheld's library of adventure titles, another code, Two Memories, has a lot going for it. Not only did it tell a genuinely interesting story, it also looked really good. Its puzzles weren't the best and the game was a bit too short, but fans of the adventure genre should definitely give it a go. A Tale of Two Kingdoms very much a game made to cater to fans of classic adventure titles, the retro-styled A Tale of Two Kingdoms is an underrated gem that deserves your attention. It looks beautiful, and has a well-realized setting and moments that demand you to make truly tough choices. Meanwhile, outside of its main story, there's plenty of side content to keep you engaged, while the puzzle design strikes a pretty good balance between being challenging and being fair as well. If you love classic adventure titles, consider giving this one a go. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.